What's up guys? If you follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen this past weekend, I was looking for new trails to ride and an awesome Kolyugani local named John hit me up and said that him and his friend Fabio wanted to go and ride some trails with me and show me around. I was super stoked to have some guys that were willing to be my guide in showing me around Ugani, but John said there was one issue. They ride e-bikes, but immediately I was like, no problem. Do you guys have a rope? So as you can see, that's exactly what we did. We were exploring Ugani, riding all these new trails I'd never seen before, and they were towing me around on their e-bikes. Of course, I was putting in a little bit of work, but they enabled me to get through an awesome day of riding where we did 1300 meters of climbing. It was incredible. We rode so many trails and this video is going to be highlighting Secret, which we're riding now. And in just a little while, we'll be going down another trail called Trunky. Both of these blew me away. They were so much fun. And it turns out that Kolyugani has a lot more to offer than just Blue Line and Rave. Super gnarly! Yeah. Wow! <laughs> wow! I went too fast. <laughs> As you can see, these trails definitely have some technicality to them, and GoPro effect is definitely a factor here. The trails are steeper than it looks, conditions are wetter than it looks, and we were slipping and sliding and having a grand old time. two options okay or you jump down okay yeah. This was my first time riding really technical trails with e-bikes and it was so cool to see the capabilities that they have and that they're really not held back at all and they can fly down the trails just like any regular bike. I was certainly impressed. Oh yeah, super fun. <laughs> really cool trail. These these are the real trails. Yeah. Not not Raven Blue Line. These yeah, these trails cool. are <laughs> gnarly and super fun and rowdy. And I wasn't lying. Every single trail that we rode this day really opened my eyes to how amazing cold Ugani is. I'm so excited about it that I can't wait to get back and ride there again and ride these trails again. I've spent so much time in Ugani riding Blue Line and Rave and don't get me wrong, those trails are fantastic in their own right. They're easy to access and really fun descents. But these trails that we're riding today, they offer something entirely different. They are way more technical, way tighter, and I felt like they just kept offering more and more with each and every trail that we rode. We 
finished out secret oh, and nice. Fabio had a question for me. Do you know what time it is? Uh, uh, is that a... Rope time. <laughs> yeah, rope time, yep. <laughs> That's right, time to climb again. So we climbed back up to the top and we dropped in on another trail called Tronky. Again, nice and steep, pretty tight, plenty of technical switchbacks and all around just an incredible ride. That tree. I know, I know. I literally just posted a video two weeks ago about how to position your GoPro, and I said, above all, make sure that you don't have any strings hanging in front of the camera. Well, it wasn't like this in the beginning of the video, and now it is. My hoodie string is hanging down, and I just accidentally bumped it and jostled it out of position, so then it started to hang. I obviously didn't realize, so sorry about that. <laughs> These trails are wild. You wow. Like <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh. <laughs> And there you have it. That was Secret, followed by Tronky. These trails were super impressive. However, there is still so much more in store. This was not it for us on this day. I have to give a shout out to John and Fabio for leading the way on this incredible day. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so that way you see part two of this video. But that's gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and tell me where to ride next. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa! <laughs>